hey everyone welcome you to my video in today's video we are going to discuss about kernel density estimation so in our last video we just uh, we saw what is probability density function okay so here let's try to understand what is kernel density estimation so when you have a parametric distribution let's say when you have a data with some parametric distribution. So when I say parametric distribution, it is some common distribution, right? So uh, let's say a normal distribution or uh, uh, you know any any known distribution you have, right? So it is easy to get up a probability density function for a parametric distribution. But let's say when we have a data set which uh, you know where the distribution is not known. Okay, so when you have some unknown distribution for any data, how to have the probability density function for it? And that's where we use this kernel density estimation. Okay, so it is a process of estimating an unknown probability density function using kernel function. Okay, so when you have a data set with some unknown distribution, we use kernel density estimation to get the probability density function, okay? So it is basically going to give you uh, the kernel function for each data point. And finally, sums up all the kernels to give you the kernel density estimation. So it is a function defined as a sum of kernel function on every data point. So let me explain you this. So let's assume that we have <clears throat> so let's assume we have data points here so these are our data points and basically for this data we don't know what kind of distribution it follows okay so when you know a uh, data which has some uh, you know unknown distribution we use this kernel density estimation to have the probability density function so here when we use kernel density estimation it's going to give kernel function for each data point so keeping each data point as the center it gives you a kernel function for each data point. So you will have kernel function for all the data points in our data set. And finally, it sums up all these kernel functions. So let's say so this is how the kernel density estimation curve will be. So finally, you get a kernel density estimation curve for the given unknown uh, you know data with unknown distribution right so if you see this curve is you know uh, gives you the probability of each data point right so when you have a parametric uh, distribution it is easy to uh, have a probability density uh, function right but when you have a data with some unknown distribution, we use kernel density estimation and get the probability density function for it. Okay. So I hope this is clear. <clears throat> Thank you.